Diabetes is one of the most prevalent chronic diseases that can severely affect your health if it isn't controlled. Insulin is the hormone that is responsible for lowering your blood sugar levels. The problem with diabetes is that either your body isn't producing enough insulin, which is type 1 diabetes, or your body isn't responding to the insulin secreted in your blood, which is known as insulin resistance and leads to type 2 diabetes. In both cases, your blood sugar levels remain high, which can lead to severe complications. For example, high sugar levels can damage the blood vessels that feed the retina of your eye. Over time, this can negatively impact your vision and can end by blindness. Additionally, by the same mechanism, diabetes can damage the blood vessels in your brain, leading to a stroke. But you should know here that your diet has the greatest impact on controlling your diabetes. It's possible to manage your sugar levels by choosing the right types of food and avoiding certain other foods. This is why, in this video, we'll reveal to you the top seven worst fruits for diabetics. The last one may surprise you as it's the complete opposite of what most people believe. Now, without any further ado, let's get to it. Number one, bananas. Bananas are often portrayed as healthy fruits. They're a popular choice in smoothies or with yogurt and granola. However, if you're trying to control your blood sugar levels, it is best you stay away from bananas. This is because bananas have a high glycemic index. High glycemic index foods are foods that raise your blood sugar levels quickly and greatly after meals. This sudden high increase in glucose levels causes your body to secrete large amounts of insulin in response. Over time, this will lead to insulin resistance where your body will no longer respond to the secreted insulin and blood sugar levels will remain high. So, it's recommended that diabetics reduce their sugar intake to 25 grams of sugar a day. And medium-sized banana alone contains 14 grams of sugar, which is more than half the recommended daily sugar intake. A study was done to prove bananas can spike your blood sugar levels. In this study, individuals were given a medium-sized banana and their blood glucose levels were measured every 30 minutes, 60 minutes, 90 minutes, and 120 minutes. Another group was given a low glycemic food instead and their blood sugar levels were measured at the same intervals. The results showed that those who were given bananas had their blood sugar levels significantly increase within the first 30 minutes, then reached their peak at 60 minutes. This increase in blood glucose levels was significantly higher in the banana group compared to the control group. Number two, watermelon. Sadly, those juicy, sweet watermelons are a less favorable choice for those suffering from diabetes. Since watermelons have a high glycemic index, they can cause your blood sugar levels to increase by 30 to 50% within an hour of ingestion. In diabetics, this increase is maintained due to defects in the insulin function. This keeps your blood sugar levels high for longer and allows more time for various organs in your body to be damaged. Additionally, this rapid rise in blood sugar levels stimulates your pancreas to release more insulin. After a while, your pancreatic cells will be exhausted, so they'll release less insulin. Subsequently, this will worsen your insulin resistance. Number three, grapes. Grapes are a healthy fruit and can contribute to a healthy diet. However, if they are not consumed in moderation, they will negatively impact your blood sugar levels and worsen your diabetes. This is because grapes have a high glycemic index, so they cause rapid spikes in blood glucose levels. Moreover, since grapes are so small and so yummy, it's hard to limit their intake to small portions. So you will end up eating too many grapes causing your blood sugar levels to become too high. One cup of grapes which measures around 151 grams contains about 23 grams of sugar. A study published in the Journal of Nutrition Proof that eating a serving of grapes caused a tremendous rise in blood glucose levels within 30 minutes, peaking at about one hour after eating before gradually declining. Before we continue, if you have been enjoying the video so far, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss more videos like this. Number four, cherries. 
Next on our list of high glycemic index fruits are the delicious cherries. Cherries are beautifully tasting fruit, widely used in desserts. Unfortunately, if you're a diabetic, it's best if you limit their intake. This is because the natural sugars in cherries lead to an incredibly quick rise in blood glucose. The sugars in cherries are glucose and fructose. These are simple sugars. They don't need to be broken down in your digestive tract. So they don't spend much time in your intestines and get rapidly absorbed in your blood. Consequently, they cause an immediate blood sugar elevation. A cup of cherries contains about 18 grams of sugar, mostly in the form of fructose and glucose. Number five, mangoes. Mangoes are one of the most loved fruits worldwide. But for a diabetic person, mangoes can make their blood sugar levels skyrocket. One cup of sliced mango holds approximately 23 grams of sugar, which makes it a high sugar fruit that can lead to enormous rise in blood glucose levels when eaten in great amounts. Previously, a study was conducted to observe the impact of eating mangoes over time on prediabetic and type 2 diabetic patients. Both groups were made to eat the same amount of mango every day for 12 months. Each time their blood sugar levels were measured as they fasted before eating and then measured again after eating. Moreover, every three months their glycated hemoglobin levels, which is also called HbA1c, were measured. This test measures the amount of sugar stuck on your red blood cells. It's essential in diagnosing prediabetes and diabetes. In addition to all these tests, their insulin sensitivity was also measured at the beginning and at the end of the study. Another control group underwent the exact same conditions, but they were given a low glycemic index food instead of mangoes. The results of the study showed that the group who were given mangoes had an increase in the levels of their blood sugar before meals and exhibited also an increase in HbA1c levels. On the other hand, the individuals in the control group either maintained the same blood sugar levels or showed improvements. This proves that eating mangoes can interfere with your hope of controlling your blood sugar levels if you're a diabetic or a prediabetic. Number six, pineapples. Pineapples are a tropical food loved and adored by a plethora of people. Some people love it so much that they even put it on pizza. However, if you're a diabetic, we hope for your sake that you're not one of those people. In an experiment done to observe the effect of eating pineapples on those with type 2 diabetes individuals were divided into two groups. The first group was given one cup of pineapples and the other control group was given one cup of apples which have a lower glycemic index than pineapples. For both groups, blood sugar levels were measured when they were fasting, and then after 30 minutes from eating, then 60 minutes, then 90 minutes, and lastly after 120 minutes. The results of the study showed that the group that was given pineapples had a significantly higher increase in their blood sugar levels. On average, the pineapple group had their blood glucose levels increase by 20 to 30% within 30 minutes, whereas the control fruit only experienced a 10 to 15% increase. This shows that pineapples cause a rapid and significant rise in blood glucose levels shortly after consumption. Number seven, dried fruits. Contrary to what many people think, dried fruits aren't a healthier version of fresh fruit. It certainly is true that dried fruits are higher in antioxidants, vitamins, and minerals than their fresh versions. However, their high sugar content makes them a poor choice to be added to the diet of a diabetic. For instance, raisins are composed of 59% sugar and dried figs have 48% sugar, while fresh grapes and figs each have only around 16% sugar. But where did dried fruits get that extra sugar from? Well, during the process of drying the fruit, they lose water. This concentrates the sugar inside them so the same amount of fruit would hold a higher percentage of sugar. So these were the worst seven fruits for diabetics. At the end, the key to managing diabetes is having a healthy balanced diet and eating foods with high glycemic index in moderation. Also, constantly monitoring your blood sugar levels and doing any mild to moderate activity for at least 30 minutes per day can aid in controlling your diabetes. Now we want to hear from you. Have you tried limiting the intake of any of these fruits in your diet? How did it affect your blood sugar levels? 
Share with us your experiences and opinions in the comments below. We love to hear them. Thanks for watching. Thank you.